get funky out there or what that's right let's do this with my Rickenbacker bass. I love this fucking bass. You got the Getty Lee design, right? Doing it right, taking it through tonight. Getty dancing, man. Can't get my strap locks off. I put on the good strap locks so my bass don't fly off in the middle of my funking. You know how it goes, right? You're funking around and all of a sudden your bass just flies off the fuck off, right? Speaking of fucking off, how y'all doing today? Ha, <laughs> good to see you. Uh, Bonet here. You see back in the when today I got my Steve Martin record. Uh, I like to dip into my classic comedy now and then. Uh, comedy is not pretty, as Steve Martin once said. And sometimes it's damn right ugly. <laughs> That's okay. You people are beautiful. It's good to see you. Waving hello. Listen, I put out a lot of music. I don't know if you all been listening to my records. Uh, there's a lot of bass playing going on on there. And I need you to know that I'm the main responsible for it all. All right, the piano playing and all that stuff. I'll get to the piano soon enough, not today. But I'm going to lay down a little funk on the bass. You just go, hey, when I'm hearing those bass lines and those bone air songs, that's the man, the myth, the legend. Singing, playing, writing, profiling, styling. Damn. Uh, I might need to bring out my comb and dust my chops there a little bit. <sighs> Woo! 
Tell me what y'all are up to. You guys can leave me a DM in the comments or whatever to talk of direct message, right? DM? Is that what it stands for? A dookie monster. I thought it was a dookie monster. It's like, don't leave me a dookie monster. What's that? Oh, God. Shaquille O'Neal, man. I love you, bro. But you definitely don't need to leave me a dookie monster. That one you left me uh, that time at the Chuck E. Cheese, that was crazy, man. I know it's both on mushrooms and shit like that. But seeing you drop a fucking dookie monster in the Chuck E. Cheese just... Wasn't what I thought my, I needed at the time. Uh, now looking at, uh, back in retrospect, I definitely did not need that at all. Uh, but I'm here for you, y'all. Uh, I'm here to, to just be with you and uh, check out what you got going on. Uh, I want to get on live a little more and uh, just chill out, you know, have a good time. See if you guys are feeling as effervescent and vivacious as I am. Maybe you're feeling vituperous. Maybe somebody read the thesaurus last night. Hey, what else do you do in the middle of the night? Read the thesaurus. That's right. Ooh, vituperous. You like to, I like the way it rolls off the tongue. There's certain words that I like to say and uh, certain words that I can't say. Certain words I don't like to say. Right? What's a word that you don't like to say because of the feel of the word, not the meaning of it? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just asking Shaquille, man, come on. I have to sometimes tell him to tame down because he gets very excited around me. Bonaire, your friend, your pal, your confidant, uh, hanging here live in the studio and giving you a little thrill or giving myself a little thrill and letting you watch. How about that? Hey, I don't know if I can even measure a thrill, but if I did, I would do it with the old tape measure. Uh, but I actually would like to measure it in an emotional quotient. If I hit you with the heart, the soul, the mind, and the loins, I feel like I could slam you all over and everything's going to be right all right. But first of all, uh, there's some things I need to know about you. Some things that are very important. I need to know if I can be sure that I can trust you. I need to be sure uh, that I can hang out with you and everything's going to be all right. And I also need to be sure, not that I'm being judgmental at all, uh, whether or not you're a, a whore. Oh my goodness, don't sell yourself short, y'all. You are worth every penny of everything. I could possibly give you, but how can I be sure that you are not a whore? Are those stretch marks around your lips? Even Steven Tyler said, damn. That's right. When I wrote that lyric, I was like, thinking about that, the idea that a woman could have stretch marks on more than just her lower loins parts. I don't know. <laughs> Unless you got a chode out there, gentlemen, you don't need a a uh, woman stretch that wide, but it's one of those things that can happen, right? It's what uh, I think Extreme wrote more than words about, right? No, that's not what it was. Okay, sorry, Gary Sharon. Peace out to you. Peace and love to you. Peace and love to Mr. Nuno Betancourt. Still playing the guitar like a motherfucker after all these years. Didn't fall off like that guy from Trickster. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, Steve. Hey, uh, you, I know you always give it to me good, and that, that's all right, man. Peace out, man, to the Trickster. I see a lot of these ages bands get back together. That's pretty cool. Although, you know what's missing, right? A full-on EZO reunion. We talked about this on one of the shows I was on, but God damn, man. EZO, back together. Shit, man. I saw them on the Fire Fire tour. Fuck, man. That's how I like to light my doobie by the fire fire of EZO. Night crawler. All right, I'm getting a little crazy. The shrooms haven't kicked in yet. Don't worry. <laughs> That's right, y'all. I'm hanging till the, the dogs come barking home. How can I be sure that you are not a whore? How can I be sure you are not a whore? How do I know? How do I know that you haven't blown the football team and more? How can I be sure that you are not a whore? Are those stretch marks around your lips? Even Steven Tyler said, damn. Are your mud flaps hanging down? Are your curtains beef or ham? Does that lower back tattoo has been used for target practice? When your lover blows his mind While your spanking is behind Yeah, how can I be sure You are not a whore How do I know How 
do I know that you haven't blown the football team and more? How can I be sure that you are not a whore? Uh huh. Do you hide them big salamis in the place where the sun don't shine? Are you feeling fine? Do you walk like you rode a horse? Does your pussy use the force? Has your dime store lipstick smeared upon the tools of many men? Have you ever been in pain from taking on a train? Woo! How can I be sure uh, you are not a whore? How do I know? How do I know that you haven't blown the football team and more? How can I be sure? You are not a whore uh -huh. Do you wear your knee pads To service the lads Do you work a few ladies too I'll Take a ride in the love canoe Ho ho Has the basketball team come and made you scream Have you had a lot of cocks in you Cause too many cocks spoils the stew Oh don't eat that Hey hey How can I be sure you are not a whore, how do I know, how do I know, that you haven't blown the football team and more, how can I be sure, you are not a whore, yeah, how can I be sure, that you are not a whore, a deep down, low down, dirty, skanky whore, how do I know? How can I be sure? Hey, how about that? Uh, how can I be sure? I think that was on my Bodacious album, uh, way back when. Man, I'm releasing an album a month for nine months in a row. Number eight comes out uh, next Friday, 10th of February. It's going to fucking kill you, dude. My most romantic album yet. So ladies and some of you gentlemen out there are uh, going to appreciate it. Actually, all you gentlemen are going to appreciate it, whether you're whichever way you swing, because here's the thing. A lot of gentlemen out there don't have game. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. These dudes don't know how to talk to a woman. So here I come along with some salacious songs I can lay down where a man feels like the woman's kind of been spoken to by me. You're welcome. And I'll come in and do the fingering fluffer up if you want. I'll, I'll take it top to bottom and leave you out of the picture all together. <laughs> don't you worry about it. But I like to think that in my songs I could provide some game. Gentlemen, I think there's some learning y'all need to do out there. Just day and age of the internet and stuff, you forgot how to talk to a lady, right? You forgot how to treat a lady. Ladies know how they want to be treated. See, gentlemen, you think you're in competition with all the other men. That ain't it. Ladies, tell me if I'm right on this. You're in competition with the satisfaction a woman feels when she's alone. I'm just saying. Unless you are a whore. How can I be sure? I got to see you, got to talk to you, got to get to know you a little bit. I'm not just going to jump on in. You come up like, Bonet, you're such a big superstar, and you're an outlaw. Ooh, I want to get all over and ride your mustache. How do I know you didn't do that with the last ten bands that came, a hundred bands that came through town? Fucking Jesse James and Jackal got off on your face, and I got to see, fuck, no ink on head. I ain't like that. I don't just share myself with everybody. I mean, I do my music. I leave you little salacious clues to how I feel. Cause I'm gonna eat your big fat pussy tonight. See, I'm romantic. I'm an old school romantic. I ain't gonna candy coat it. Sometimes I put some candy on it, but uh, that was just right unvarnished truth, ain't it? I mean, what's a woman want here? I mean, if you got a big fat pussy, no, no offense, ladies. Uh, there's something about a nice pudenda that has that hang there. Like a pair of mangoes or something hanging out. Whatever you can, whatever hang time you got there uh, going up and down. It's a pleasant thing. Doesn't have to be some little skinny slit, little paper cut. Come on. Talking about a piece of fruit, right? Kind of like that piece of fruit in that NXS video, right? You are my thing. Yeah, you are my thing. I'm going to eat you like that piece of fruit. I think it was like a giant fig or something. I'm going to eat your Newton. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all want to hear another song? What's up? I'm here for you. 
And I'm playing all my romantic ballads Right here I'm gonna slow this one down So you can really feel the romance See, sometimes I slip it by so fast You're like, did he just say that? And you're already on to the next day I gotta like luxuriously unfold it Like I do my lawns every morning Oh! That's right. You can all sway along. Put your lighters in the air, whatever you do. You got Steve on my shoulder. Hey. Knocking on your door one summer night. Imagining your boobies in the moonlight. When you answer, you look kind of mad. You told me to go fuck myself and called your dad. I explained intentions that I thought were clear. That is why I'm naked and I'm standing here I told you all the reasons that I would never leave Feeling like I want to get so hard upon the beef Guess you had an idea that I want to fornicate a ton With your sleazy little sister Ooh, it's true we had a fling back in the days And then like Journey went our separate ways But darling, now I'm here to take you higher if you give me the stroke like Billy Squire Tell your sister that I'm gonna leave her Cause she got that sweet little beaver I'm gonna pause right there for a moment in the story Cause any song is storytelling uh, Right off the bat there's a couple things you gotta know First of all you gotta know the song Separate Ways by Journey If you don't know that song go look it up The video and the keyboard on the wall and all that stuff And Steve Perry cut his hair Whoa it's fucking crazy Right like when he shaved his mustache. You forgot, he had a fucking mustache too. He know about to ride. Everybody knows about to ride, ladies. You know about to ride. Hey, see you on down. Uh, when the light. Okay, so here's the thing. The other thing you got to know is the stroke by Billy Squire. He's not talking about actually getting your cock stroked. Although I think that Billy Squire probably liked a good cock stroke. And, uh, and any man with a good cock probably doesn't, you know, not appreciate a good stroke. But the song's more about the stroke the record company's giving you, blowing smoke up your ass like you're a fucking chimney and making you sign away all the rights to your life and all that kind of stuff. So that kind of stroke. Uh, and there's also a, a line in there about uh, getting so hard upon the beef. You'd have to be probably of the boomer generation to have seen the show Leave It to Beaver to know that uh, Dad used to get hard on the beef, but it was not meant in that salacious, uh, I keep using the word salacious, lascivious. How's that? We'll go with lascivious today. It's lascivious day. Uh, he, was, he didn't want to be too tough on his son, who he had nicknamed the Beaver. How you get that name unless you're like a master pussy eater? I doubt fucking Jerry Matters was fucking eating pussy at that age. But maybe later. Maybe that's, that was it. It was like, hey, ladies, uh, you know who I was. Who were you? I was the Beaver. Yarbo Chick? I don't know. Maybe that I, he's long gone. We can't ask him, okay? Okay, Wally? Okay, Wally? See it while it worked. Uh, you got to know uh, there's things like that tucked into my song. So um, every time that I, I mention something, I'm not going to stop and mention it to you. But now that you know that, I'm going to carry on with the story at hand. Riding in my truck one Sunday night. You grabbed me by the stick, shifting, held me tight. Told me that your salad needed heavy tossing. Then you blew me at the next railroad crossing. Only did the seed of my loins remain Inside me till the end of that entire train Passing in the night while your lipstick Ran down the length of my terrifying dipstick I guess you had an idea That I want to fornicate a tongue With your sleazy little sister It's true we had a fling back in the days And then like Journey went her separate ways and darling, now I'm here to take you higher If you give me the stroke like Billy Squire Tell your sister that I'm gonna leave her Cause she got that sweet little beaver I spent a lot of money and I spent a lot of time I took a trip to Hollywood to etch upon my mind Ozzy said that he was a believer In the fact that I love your freaking beaver let me unpack that there for your second too. So, uh, when we get back to, first of all, Billy Squire, you need to tour. 
Okay? I ain't seen you out on the road in a while, and I need to see a good fucking Billy Squire show. Lonely as the night, in the dark, emotions in motion, all of it. You need me to play bass on emotions in motion? I got a boom, 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 the bass man. Come on, let's fuck it. I'll fucking rock it out there with you, dude. Billy Squire, come on, man. Come on. Lonely as the night. Like, y'all, look at, if you don't know Lonely as the night by Billy Squire, put the stroke aside for a second. Put it all aside for a second. Go look up Lonely as the night. Masterful, masterful in the post Zeppelin world. Uh, so I spent a lot of money, I spent a lot of time. I took a trip to Hollywood to etch upon my mind. You guys know that Steely Dan song? The trip we made to Hollywood is etched upon my mind. See, I'm touching on that right in there. I just want to lay it out there so you know who's in there. So every time you go by, I go, Donald Fagan, hey, come on. Um, and then Ozzy who just retired from tour and started to hear that idea, uh, said that he was a believer. he got a song called Believer back in the Randy Rose days. Randy fucking Rose, rest in peace. We love Randy Rose. Uh, in the fact that I love your freaking beaver. He was a believer in the beaver, but that wasn't what the song's about. It was about believing something else, and I don't even want to get into believing. All right? But if Shayer got to get, never mind. Okay, so uh, now we're going deep into uh, another part of the song where I'm going to reference the Monster Mash. All right, Bo- uh, Bobby Boris Pickett. You guys know the Monster Mash? You probably heard it on the Halloween side of things, but uh, this is how I worked it in right here. You resurrect my monster when you do the Monster Mash. The scent of you still lingers in the depths of my mustache. I get the feeling you'd be down to party in my pants, sucking on some dick. Now, I'm going to pause right here because right there you think that I'm telling you you're going to be sucking on some dick, but... Sucking on some Dixie chicks. That's where I went with it. Even though they call themselves just the chicks. Uh, now, I think it's just hilarious. Like a, a Dixon cider. You ever drink that cider? Dixon cider? Oh, your mom loves Dixon cider. Can't get enough Dixon cider. Every time your mom has Dixon cider, I just clap my hands and watch the replay on the video. Oh, man. Sucking on some Dixie chicks and doing that naked dance. Right? Doing that naked dance. That's where I come in. I told you that my El Camino was divine. In response, you slid me into your vagine. Gave me all the reasons that I needed to be bold. You wrapped me in your beaver to protect me from the cold. Yeah, to protect me from the cold. Bantha style. Come on, Luke. I say that in a song. You guys are Star Wars fans. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The ice planet hot. Right? I half giving you a little Star Wars Easter egg in my song. Oh, come on, Luke. Let's do it. Ready? Sing along, if you will, y'all. I think you know it by now. I guess you had an idea that I want to fornicate a ton with your sleazy little sister. It's true, we had a flame back in the day. And then night journey went her separate ways. But darling, now I'm here to take you higher. If you give me the stroke like Billy Squire Tell your sister that I'm gonna leave her Cause she got that sweet little beaver You do Sweet little beaver Oh, you give me the sweet little beaver You put it on me, your sweet little beaver I think I'm soaking in your sweet little beaver I wanna get in your sweet little beaver Under my head is your sweet little beaver My mustache smells like your sweet little beaver I wanna get up on your uh, good side So you might let me come on, check it out Sweet little beaver, uh uh-huh, yeah I like walking you through a song like that. It feels pretty good, don't it? I could do that with a lot of my songs and make you realize what's up. But if you look up, uh, I put all the lyrics up there, whether you're on streaming services or the SoundCloud, you can find out what I'm saying in those songs. Uh, and you're going to have to prepare yourself because the next record, which I'm hard at work on already, I just uploaded number uh, eight, number nine. This is of my series, nine records. I'm like a baby, nine months. Nine records in nine months. This neck record is in my top of them all. It's pretty crazy. But in the first song, right off the bat, uh, there's a rap. I'm just going to lay it on you. You're like, Bonet, you don't rap. Listen, man, I do a lot of things you don't know. All right? You ain't seen me play piano yet. I'll just show you some bass playing. Show you I can do what I say I do. I don't have to say it. I want to show it. Right? I don't talk about uh, how I fuck. 
I'll just show you. Like I showed your mother last night. Hey, how you doing? Oh, just kidding. Uh, not really. But uh, I love hanging out with y'all and uh, taking some of this time. Uh, I scheduled this one so I could let you know I was coming. I didn't just jump on randomly. So uh, feel free to send me a message if you like. Uh, feel free to uh, let me know uh, what you're thinking, what's on your mind. And the next time I come on here, uh, what you'd like to see me do. Now, I'm going to go back to having a little bass jam here. Smoke my doobie, drink my coffee, have my my funky bass. I'm coming up with a new one, and man, every time I come up with the bass line, that feels like it's going to be the dance floor hit of the century. I I feel a certain sense of satisfaction because I know there are asses out there. They haven't wiggled yet in the way that I'm about to make it happen. It's exciting. Asses everywhere, across the earth. I like to say like a. Shaking more ass than an earthquake on a donkey farm. That's right. I'm shaking it. That's my purpose. Look, I, y'all, nothing personal against modern country music, but there's some narrow, narrow, narrow stuff. They ain't no, they're moving your feet in the line dancing, but it's purposely like keeping your, it's like, you know in the river dance where they keep their upper body really still? Country music, it bared it. It might swing you a little bit. It might swing your apple, but it ain't going to fucking mash your sauce. Ain't going to happen. So I'm the sauce masher right here. Functory is my music. Actually, on my record coming out next week, I have a song called Functory that I basically uh, invented in an effort to explain the music. How do you explain Functory? Here, here's a song called Functory. Put it on there and start moving around. You'd be surprised at what happens. You'd be surprised at how limber you are. You'd be surprised at... Uh, what your uh, ears and your earlobes feel like to the uh, insides of your ankles. <laughs> Man, I wouldn't be surprised at all uh, because it is part of a uh, Tickle Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Thursday. Tickle Thursday. Any day could be a tickle day. Oh, listen, I hope you have a ticklish one. I hope you're having a good dick day, gentlemen and ladies. I hope you're having a nice tight one. That's the opposite of a good dick day, right? Gentlemen want the hang. Women want the anti-hang. Hope your gravity is... Uh, your gravity shield is working. <laughs> Hope your panty shield is working, too. Nobody likes a leak. Nobody likes a leaker, y'all. Hey, please, do send me a message. I'm I'm here for you. I want to have some fun and do some cool shit. I'm going to get out there in the, the wilderness, too, and do a couple of days where uh, I can... I don't smoke out in the studio. I go outside, take care of my business, come back in, keep it a nice, clean workplace. Uh, workplace, workplace, workplace. I'm stuck in a loop. Sorry about that. Nice, clean work space like your grandmother lays out for me on the buffet ho you knew it was coming (laughs) so am i hey uh listen keep in touch i'm gonna do the same and you and i can come together and make it i think we can make it one more time all right y'all take care bonaire